My name is Christine Quintana, and I'm the playwright of Selfie. Selfie is a story about three teenagers with really close relationships to one another and how one night and one event changes their relationships forever. Consent is the thing that is invisible in Selfie. It doesn't get talked about, it doesn't get asked for. It's not just in terms of, of consent in, in sexual relationships, but there are issues with consent in terms of pressuring other people to do things, of releasing information and photos of someone else without their permission. So consent isn't just about you know, what happens in sexual relationships, but it's so much more than that. And every time consent isn't acquired in this play, something happens that can't be taken back. I wanted to challenge myself and challenge audiences and educators to say, well, how could this happen? And how does it happen in my school and in my community? We actually did a workshop in a high school. It was an all-girls private school. After we showed them a reading of the play, um, we asked them, who do you think is responsible for what happened? And they started saying things like, oh, well, it's, you know, mm, like her friend's fault for telling her to drink and it's her fault because you know she's supposed to be smart and a good student and she should know if she goes to a party something like this is going to happen and we were like oh my god these are young people who are out engaging in the world and these are the attitudes that they have and then eventually one girl said well maybe we shouldn't maybe blame the victim and they all started going oh that's right like it it's not her fault it can't be her fault and so even within that moment, the conversation shifted. So hopefully when young people see it on stage, they see it with characters that are hopefully relatable and that they like, that it's not, not as simple as like, well, this is a monstrous thing that monstrous people do and it's, it's more nuanced, it's more complex and that we're all actually responsible in making sure things like this don't happen. I hope that audiences leave the play with maybe a different lens on their relationships, how they behave in relationships, how they've been treated in them, and also are willing to take a look at their own actions and say, well, when do I ask for consent in my relationships? Do I know how? And where can I find the resources to make sure that I do?